I'm going to show you how to make your Alma Woodsy Thomas inspired art using your Paint 3D app. So you're going to go down here and open up your Paint 3D app. And I'm on my desktop. It looks a little different, but I still have a window down in the corner just like you do on your tablet. So you're going to click on that and then you're going to scroll down and find Paint 3D. Oops. There we go. Paint 3D. Click on that. Open up a new canvas. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Move this so you can see. All right. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to make a shape in the middle of our paper or close to the middle. Sometimes she would have it a little off center. Um, so we're on the brushes page now. We want to go to the 2D shapes page. So you're going to go up and click. And then you are going to go over here and pick out a shape to use. Um, and I'm just going to stick to using the circle. So I'm just going to put it in there, click on the canvas and it'll put the circle in, make it a little smaller move it if you want to move it to a different place okay we want a solid shape we don't want an outline so go to line type and click none and up here it's going to give you um, a solid shape which is what you have and then you're going to um, you can pick the color so you're going to click on that blue color and then you can select a different color if you want but let's see I want purple okay and then I can click on the check. So there's my shape. Now I need to go back to the brushes page. So back up here, click on brushes, and we're gonna select our oil brush for this, and we're gonna make the thickness a little less thick, so around, around 30 is good. Okay, and then you can come down here and you can pick out the first color that you want to use to go around your shape. So I think I'm going to stick with this blue, but if you want a different color, you can click on that. Now you want to um, use these brush strokes like Alma did. Um, just little short brush strokes with just a tiny bit of space in between them. Now, you know, if you mess one up, if one doesn't look quite right to you, you can always go to the undo and then redraw it okay so you can go around your shape once or twice with each color maybe three times let's keep going around of course you're going to be doing this with your fingers okay so then you're ready to pick a new color and you can go around again so sometimes she would use sort of rainbow order, but not always. So you can just really pick whatever kind of colors you'd like to use for this. Important thing is to make sure they're all organized and painted neatly with the tiny bit of space in between them and that they go around your shape. All right, and then eventually you'll get to the edges. Um, but you're just going to keep going. So here I've got, I've touched the top, but I still want to fill in the rest of the canvas. So I'm going to keep going. All right. So you can see I, I've gotten to the top of the canvas here, but I still have all this space. So I still want to keep going. So I'm just going to start right there and I'm going to go around. And just for this demo, I'm going to stop after that. But normally you'd want to fill in your whole space. Okay. Now, um, so after you've done that and you've filled in all of this space, all the way out to all of all four corners, if you like, you can change your background color. So you can keep it white if you want, but if you want to change your background to black or another color, that is very easy to do. All you have to do is use your fill tool. So you click on the bucket, and then you can go down here and pick the color you want for the background and click on the background. 
And if you had those little spaces between your lines, then your background should all be connected. So it'll fill in the whole background. If you have um, lines that are touching, you may have to click on a few other spots to fill your whole background in. Okay, and if you don't like the background that color, you can always undo it. And then when you're done, um, you can save it. So you go to menu and go down to save as image. And for the name, you could name it A. W. Thomas. Or Alma Woodsley Thomas. So you could do that and then you could click on save. I've actually got a couple of them saved up here already, so I'm not going to save that one. All right. So that's how you make your Alma Thomas inspired art using Paint 3D.